What's up YouTube, Jetforth here, and today uh, let's talk about the benefits of having high gear scored items on your character. Now in the previous two videos that I did about jacking up your gear score, there was a few things that I failed to mention and explaining why I did this. First of all, the gear that is on my guy right now that is bringing me up to 506 is not my gear set, nor will it be. Bringing my gear score up to this was to ensure that I would get 495 to 500 drops in the open world consistently, and 500 regular caches and 510 plus clan caches. The biggest argument that I've been hearing is that gear score doesn't matter whatsoever and it's all about your build. Which yes, you can have an incredible build and go out and slaughter everything, have amazingly high DPS and so on. So where the gear score comes into play is that I can replicate your exact build with 500 gear. I will do more damage and I will be able to take more damage than you will. And I will explain now because the proof is in the pudding, as they say. Let's start with weapon score and then we will move on to gear scores. As your gear score progresses higher and higher, your base attributes for weapons and gear get higher and higher. And here's plenty of examples for you to look at that this is definitely true. I have three ACS 12s. Two 450s, one 495. The two 450s are 32.8k and 33.3k. And just by looking at the 495, you can already see that the damage is up almost by 4,000. And yes, there is a bit of RNG that goes into getting high damages and whatnot on your weapons, but there, I have so many examples of it that... It's just, it, you can't ignore it. Next example is I have two SRS A1s, one at 450, the other a 500. As you can clearly see, the 450 has a 68.4k damage and the 500 has an 89.4k damage, which is almost a 21,000 damage difference. This is why I kept making those gear score videos, and I'm still a little bit at odds with people calling me a noob and getting nasty with me with it. It's just, I mean... Seriously, how am I the noob if you don't even know how the game works yourself? Next, we have an M16A2 at 450 and one at 500. The 450, 12.6k. The 500, 15.8k. Another thing that I noticed is that the RPM seemed to drop higher as well on the higher geared score stuff more often than not. And for the finale, we have an M700 Tactical at 454 and one at 499. One is 63.2k, the other at 83.2k. With, again, almost almost 20,000 difference in damage. Generally, the snipers do tend to show the drastic difference between the gear scores more so than other weapons do. On to gear. Here is my stash so you know that I'm not trying to pull any fast ones in doing this. I do have a horde of weapons which allowed me to actually make this video so I'm glad I was being a hoarder for a while. As you can see me scrolling down through my gear from the highest to the lowest, you can see that the base armor consistently drops. Now gear is a little bit trickier than weapons are because of the attributes that are on them. Like the set gear pieces that I have have really high rolled armor attributes on them which bump them up that high. So as you watch me scroll through the rest of my inventory, I hope you can see with your own eyes that gear score does absolutely matter in this game and I, I don't understand why a lot of people think that it doesn't. There is a very valid reason why we have gear score and we didn't end up just leveling up to say level 35 or level 40. There is a reason for it. Either way, I've said multiple times, you know, play the game how you want to play it. If you want to take it slow and build up slowly, do that. You don't have to do this. I just did this and put those videos out to show a fast way for everyone to start getting higher leveled gear, higher level armor bases, higher level damage bases, and so on. That was the importance of me making those videos. It wasn't for clickbait. It wasn't to mislead anybody. There is a valid reason for doing this. Now that I am getting all these high gear score drops with higher bases on them. Now I'm more comfortable building a set out and getting mid-maxed and all of that junk. So I really hope this like clears the air because man, it just, I don't want to argue with people. I really enjoy making YouTube videos and I, I really enjoy trying to help people out as much as I can, you know, but for people to start coming after me and just calling me names and I'm an idiot and everybody else is noobs, it's not cool, man. They're seriously it's not cool at all I don't like it my intentions for this channel have been and always will be to give out the right information not to clickbait and not to make crap up for clicks and views anyways that's it that's all I got I'm gonna shut up about it 
Uh, big shout out to the clan, the scanners. We got about 25 members now, so 25 spaces left on PS4 if anybody is interested in joining. Other than that, hit the old like button for me if you could. That would be a super amazing. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and all that other junk, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.